Hi everyone, Suzanne the Rager here. Welcome to my Tomb Raider collection video. I am so, so excited to be filming this video. I've been planning this for so long and it's finally happening. <laughs> I just want to start off by saying that I definitely do not have the biggest collection in the world. There are so many other people who have much, much bigger and more impressive collections than I do, but I absolutely love everything that I have. I'm so happy to have it and hopefully I can continue to grow it in the future. Also, I just want to say really quickly that my camera is not the biggest fan of focusing. It finds it difficult enough to focus when I'm playing games and it only has to focus on me, a stationary object. So I really, really hope that everything I film now is in focus. I have a kind of an old fashioned camera where I can't actually see the viewfinder when I'm on this side. So I can't see if it's in focus. So fingers crossed, but if there is any parts that are a little bit out of focus, I'm really, really sorry. Also just to say that any parts of my collection that are from a small shop or an independent creator, I will link them down in the description box below. Just in case you see anything and think, oh, that's really cool. Um, I will link everything in the description box below. Well, I'll link anything that isn't official Tomb Raider merchandise. Most of the official merchandise can be gotten on places like eBay and stuff like that. I have divided my collection up into categories just to make it a bit easier to get through. So the category that's first up is games. And of course, we can't do a collection video without starting off with the game that started it all. Well, this is the game that started it all for me, Tomb Raider 1996 on the PS1. I believe, was it out on maybe Sega Saturn or something before it was on PS1? I can't really remember, but for me anyway, this is the very first thing that started it all. Um, and yeah, I, I keep this forever. Then of course we have Tomb Raider 2 on PS1, Tomb Raider 3 on PS1, Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation on PS1, and Tomb Raider 5 Chronicles on PS1. Do I have a PS1 anymore? No. Do I have any way to play these games anymore? No, but I will never get rid of them. Okay, so now we'll do the big boxes. So for those of you who don't know, expansion packs were released for Tomb Raider 1, 2 and 3, the original games. These were only available to buy on PC, which always kind of confused me a little bit because I don't understand why they didn't release them on PS1. That would have been really cool and then more people could have played them. But I recently got mine on eBay um, and finally got to play those levels. I actually have a playthrough done of the unfinished business levels on my channel if you want to check that out. And the Golden Mask and Lost Artifact will be coming up. But this is my big box of Tomb Raider 1 Unfinished Business. The big box of Tomb Raider 2 The Golden Mask and the big box of Tomb Raider 3, The Lost Artifact. If you're looking to get your hands on any of those games, the PS1 games are actually going for quite expensive right now on eBay and other kind of sites, but they are available. And the big boxes I got for very cheap off of eBay, um, three to four euro each. They're very affordable. You might have to do a bit of tweaking with your computer to get the disc to actually play, but it's well worth it to play those expansion packs. I also recently bought this Game Boy Color Tomb Raider game. I think there is one or two other games available on either Game Boy or maybe Nintendo or something along those lines. I really, really want to get those games and play them because I want to play all the Tomb Raider games. I'm currently trying to figure out how I could play that and record the footage to do maybe a playthrough on my channel. But this is the one that I have for the moment and I do want to collect the rest of these games. Then we move on to the unfinished masterpiece that is Angel of Darkness. This is one of my favorite games for tone in the Tomb Raider series. I really, really love the sinister, scary tone of this game. And I really, really wish that it had been finished properly because I think this would have been a really, really awesome trilogy. Then we have Tomb Raider Legend. I like to call it the game that saved the franchise after Angel of Darkness. Then we have Tomb Raider Anniversary. 
This is probably, don't come for me, this is probably my least favourite Tomb Raider game and it's not that I don't like it, it's just that I prefer the original and this just never quite hits the mark for me. I think I'd rather replay the original Tomb Raider 1 than play this game and that's probably just why it's my least favourite unfortunately. And one of my favourite Tomb Raider games after Tomb Raider 2, of course, is probably Tomb Raider Underworld. Then, of course, we have Tomb Raider Guardian of Light. I don't believe they sell many physical copies of that game. The only physical copy I could find of that game was released in Germany, I believe, and the cover and everything are in German. I do want to get it at some stage, but... I was a bit disappointed that they didn't widely release it as a disc. If they did, please do let me know in the comments below. I might have just missed it, but I couldn't find it anywhere and I had been looking forever. But then I did get the Temple of Osiris Gold Edition. And finally, we're on to the reboot games now. I know these games are super divisive for a lot of fans, but I actually really, really enjoyed the reboot. Classic Lara will always be my favourite and nothing can hold a candle to her, but I really, really enjoyed this reimagining of Lara Croft and the whole Tomb Raider franchise. And I thought that the games were really fun and really interesting to play. I definitely think Tomb Raider 2013 is probably my favourite out of the three, just because I found the mystery on Yamatai Island really intriguing, really scary. And honestly, the first time I played it, I couldn't stop. Then I have Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I also really, really enjoyed. And finally, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the Steelbook version. I wasn't sure what the Steelbook version was when I bought it, but apparently it, it literally is just like, comes with a Steelbook. Um, I really, really liked this game as well, but I was very disappointed with the ending because we'd kind of been told the whole time that by the end of this trilogy, Lara Croft would become the Tomb Raider and kind of more similar to the character that we met in the original games. And while there was slight character development, I fell throughout and that bit where she comes out of the fiery water is really really cool. I just didn't really see that character development that I was waiting for so yeah this the ending of this game did actually disappoint me a little bit. I really really hope that they do make a new game and I'm excited to see where they go with it but I really really hope that they maybe start gearing more back towards the original character, just with all the kind of modern elements of these games. I think it would be really, really cool. But let me know what you think in the comments. Are you classic Tomb Raider fan or reboot Tomb Raider fan? In my mind, there is really no right or wrong answer because they're both awesome. That took me so long to get that out of the sleeve. I think it was actually stuck in there with glue or something. I don't know what happened, but this is basically what the steel book looks like. And then you can open it and you just have your disc and um, you get these cute little postcards and you just get some extras like um, some codes and stuff like that to unlock things. I don't really know. I'm really bad with stuff like that. <laughs> I did have the three Tomb Raider DVDs. So I had the two Angelina Jolie films and I also had the new Tomb Raider reboot film with Alicia Vikander, but they actually belong to my parents. So they're in my parents' house. So I'm going to look and see if I can buy my own copies of those at some point in the future. And now onto the category of figurines. So I don't have that many figurines. I have the Rock Candy Tomb Raider figurine. I think she's so cute. How adorable is she? This is definitely one of my favorite little figurines that I have. I got this for my birthday one year and I was super, super happy. I also have the Totoku Shadow of the Tomb Raider figurine. I really, really love this one. I think she looks so, so cool. And I know they released one or two other ones. I know that there's a, is it Temple of Osiris or Guardian of Light version? And maybe there's another one. I can't really remember right now, but I definitely want to get more of these ones. I think they're really, really cool. And then anyone who watches my game playthroughs will already have seen the next two. These are my two, well, 
I guess I'll show this one as well at the same time. These are my two Lara Croft um, Nestle figures. So I'm getting the sense that it was probably only in the UK and Ireland, just from chatting to other people. These were prizes that you could get in Nestle cereals. So remember they used to do that where the prize would be in a little plastic bag and it'd be hidden in the cereal somewhere and you wouldn't know which one you'd get. So they had two Lara Crofts, two Crash Bandicoots and two Spyros. I actually still have my Spyro one of these that I got. I'm a big Spyro fan as well. But yes, I have these two figures. So it's Lara in her wetsuit and Lara in her kind of snow aviator jacket kind of gear. And now we're going to move on to the category of mugs. Yes, you heard that right. I needed an entire category for Tomb Raider mugs. I like tea. So the first three mugs that I'm going to show you are from a shop called Pop Culture Smash. This is the Tomb Raider 1 mug. This is my Tomb Raider 2 mug. And this is my Tomb Raider 3 mug, which is really, really cool. I love all the colors here. And also what I love about these pop culture smash mugs is that they are the actual game covers that are put onto the mugs. So you can even see that it has like the PlayStation logo and different things on there. So yeah, these are just super, super cool. But this is a mug that basically shows every single Lara Croft kind of throughout the games. So we start off with Tomb Raider 1, 2, 3, 4. We go all the way up. Then we've got, you know, Legend, Underworld. They've even got Guardian of Light on there. And then they have the reboot Laras. This is a really, really cool mug. I got this from a shop called Bluebells on Amazon and I will link them below. This cup was given to me as a birthday gift. It's a Tomb Raider Underworld cup, um, an Underworld design. I absolutely love it because as I said, Tomb Raider Underworld is one of my favorite Tomb Raider games. And this was designed by Fran Agostinelli on Redbubble. I checked on Redbubble and I couldn't find their profile anymore. So I don't think that they are active on Redbubble anymore. And this design doesn't seem to be available anymore. So I'm really sorry about that. And lastly, I got this really, really cool Tomb Raider mug where you can personalize it and put your own picture on it. So somebody actually got this for me and put my Tomb Raider cosplay picture, my very first one I ever did. I just did it for the first time at Christmas when I was in Norway. I did kind of a snow themed Lara Croft cosplay and it was really, really cool. I really enjoyed it. And somebody got this for me just to like commemorate it. This is from a shop called Gifts for Picks on Etsy. And look, there's a picture of Lara on the back. I really, really hope that this video is coming out well. I have never filmed any video like this before, so I hope it looks good. Next up in my collection are statues. So I have two gaming heads Tomb Raider statues. You can probably see them sitting behind me right now. I will film close-ups of the statues because I don't really want to move them <laughs> or hold them up or anything like that in case they break. So the first one that I have is classic Lara and I absolutely adore this statue. It is just stunning. It, her face is my favorite part. Her face is just gorgeous. I love it. And I do actually love that they used more like her anniversary face on this statue. I love the detail that they included her bun from the first game instead of her classic ponytail because as we all know in the first game they couldn't get her ponytail to work. This is the normal version. There is um, kind of a, an exclusive version I think and it comes with a little medipack at her feet but I just have the normal version. Then I also have the Tomb Raider 3 statue. So this is Lara in her Nevada outfit, which is one of my favorite outfits as well. And I do love those levels in Tomb Raider 3. I love this statue so much. I love her trousers, most of all, as weird as that might sound. I just love the pattern on them and the colors. I think they're gorgeous. 
I also love that in this one we definitely get her long plaited ponytail. I love the expression on her face here. Just that pure rage and anger as she's firing off her Uzis. I just, I love everything about this. Again, this is the normal version of the statue. There is an exclusive version where she comes with interchangeable arms and you can switch the Uzis for a shotgun. So I have Tomb Raider pins. Now I don't have that many Tomb Raider pins because there's not a huge amount of them available out there, which is super sad as I am a massive pin collector. But I really, really love the ones that I do have. This is the Tomb Raider Legends pin from Numskull. It is massive and it is such a beautiful pin. These are still available on eBay, I believe. So I would definitely go and grab one if you're into pins because this is an absolute must have one. Then I have this small Skion pin from an Etsy shop called Oh The Raven. And then I have these three super cool Lara Croft pins from another Etsy shop called Canvas Quest. And they sell classic Lara, Legend Lara, and I believe this is Tomb Raider 2 Lara. I think that's a, that's a promo shot for the Tomb Raider 2 game. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I've just come up with that off the top of my head. So yes, these are my very small collection of Tomb Raider pins. Um, the other ones on this board are just kind of other female characters that I really like. Now onto the category of CDs. I only have two Tomb Raider CDs, but I felt like these were deserving of their own category because I supported the Kickstarter campaigns for both of these CDs. So the first one was the Tomb Raider Suite by Nathan McCree. This is basically a re-recording with a live orchestra and choir of all the music from the Tomb Raider 1, 2 and 3 games. This CD is just so amazing and I listen to it all the time. Then I also have Tomb Raider The Dark Angel Symphony. So this is the music of Peter Connolly. He did the music for Tomb Raider The Last Revelation, Tomb Raider Chronicles and also The Angel of Darkness. And it's just really cool. It comes with these four CDs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is a CD in each one of these. And you've got The Last Revelation there, Chronicles, and Angel of Darkness. So get ready for this, I have quite a lot of t-shirts. This is a continuously growing collection. So I hope these are like visible and fitting in the frame, but this is a design from Rick Draws Things on Redbubble. I love this so much with Lara in her wetsuit, one of my favorite outfits. Then I have this really cool design from Jigsaw Ninja on Redbubble of the three Tomb Raider 2 secret dragons. Then there is this super cute design from Cara Croft on Redbubble of just, I don't know, really cute like versions of Lara in all her different outfits. I mean, yeah, you can probably see why I like it so much. It's just adorable, plus it's got outfits, so definitely my kind of thing. Sorry, these are all creased, by the way. I wear them, so yeah, they're a bit creased. <laughs> this is the Tomb Raider Thanks for the Memories 25th Anniversary t-shirt. Now, I bought this from Red bubble and the designer was Daniel Crane. However, I have seen so many different people selling this t-shirt and this design, so I'm unsure who is the original creator of this design. If it is Daniel Crane or not, please do let me know in the comments if you know that, because you know I always like to credit the original creators. Then I have this really cool Tomb Raider 1 t-shirt from Ulla Holm on Redbubble. I have this gorgeous Lara Croft design also from Red Bubble from Behind Sky. And last but not least, I have this Tomb Raider Suite tank top. And now moving on to Tomb Raider books. So first up, I have the Tomb Raider official guidebook. This is actually for Tomb Raider 1. And then if you flip it over, it's Tomb Raider 2. I had this as a kid, myself and my sister shared it. And unfortunately there is a paper doll inside and only one of us got to have the paper doll. Um, my sister got it. So 
I then bought my own version a short while ago on eBay and I was like, finally, the paper doll is mine. Oh, it's upside down. So yes, I have the paper doll in here with all of her outfits and everything. I don't know if I'll take her out or not. Probably not. I just like to look at it really. But yeah, it's just a guide through all of the levels of the first two games with hints and tricks and where all the secrets are and pickups and different things. So yeah, I'm so, so happy to have this book again. By the way, there's no hard feelings to my sister about the paper doll. <laughs> then I have the Tomb Raider coloring book. This is a really, really cool book. And I actually posted an entire flip through of this on my Instagram page at Fan Tomb Raider. If you wanna go and check that out, I'm not going to do it now because this video is long enough, but this is just an example of the kind of pictures inside. They're a mix of classic and reboot Lara. And this is just one that I've started coloring in, but I haven't finished yet. Then I got the Tomb Raider official cookbook for Christmas, just gone. I really, really wanted this when it came out just to obviously try the recipe but also I just want anything Tomb Raider really. And yeah, it's just full of loads of recipes, info about the food, and I think there's info about like the regions they're from and everything. I'm pretty sure they're all based on maybe like locations Lara's been and stuff like that. I haven't fully read it yet, so I'm not 100% sure, but there's also just loads of really cool pictures of Lara and everything inside. So this is actually available to purchase, I think a lot of places that sell books right now. Then I wanted to get into the Tomb Raider comic books. So I did buy this reboot Tomb Raider comic book. This is issue one, Season of the Witch. I haven't read it yet because I literally only just got it. And then I decided I wanted all the rest of the comic books. So I got this library edition. Actually, somebody got this for me for Christmas, so I didn't get it myself but I cannot wait to read this. This is such a cool book. It's so heavy though, by the way. So be aware, it's so heavy. But I believe it has issues number one to 18 of the reboot comic books in here. Um, so I cannot wait to read this. I did have the Tomb Raider Omnibus one and two on order. Omnibus number one got cancelled because they had none left. And I know it's the same issues as this, but I kind of just wanted it to have it, if that makes any sense. And then I still have Omnibus number two on order. We'll see if it actually shows up or if that gets cancelled as well. So yeah, I'm going to try my best to kind of collect and read the comic books, but it's not going great so far. Okay, so the next category that I'm going to just fly through really quickly are stickers and I have a lot of stickers so I'm not going to say where each sticker is from, I will just list it all in the description box and let's go. So I have these sets of about 30 Tomb Raider stickers, I have used a couple of them already in scrapbooking but these are super super cute, I love them. Then there is also these classic Tomb Raider stickers with the Venice boat, which is one of my favorites. So I also love these. I do have as well two pistol stickers that came with this set, but I have already used those as well. Then I have this Tomb Raider sticker from the reboot saying you have no idea how far I've come. No. Classic Tomb Raider one. Lara Croft glasses with her signature. Out of ammo, never heard of it, for her magic pistols. Just her kicking some ass. Last Revelation Lara. Lara in a really cool black dress. Lara in her bomber jacket. Angel of Darkness. Underworld. And my favorite, Lara chilling with a Lucasaid. And then our final category for today is just called random or miscellaneous, I guess you could call it. 
So these are just random Tomb Raider things that I had that I felt like didn't really fit into any other category. So these are two really cool necklaces that I got from the eBay shop Lara's Sanctuary. First up is this, I kept calling it the Fiamanira cult symbol, but of course it's actually the Dagger of Xi'an symbol. So yeah, my mistake on that, but the Fiamanir cult do use the symbol as their cult symbol as well, so I guess both of them are correct, but this is the Dagger of Xi'an symbol. And I also got the Skion necklace as well. My Tomb Raider coasters from Numskull. I have actually used these, so they're a little bit marked up. <laughs> Sorry about that but they are basically just replicas of the PS1 game covers in coaster form. So on the back, they have like the squishy things to make them coasters. I don't, I don't really know. But yeah, so there's Tomb Raider 1, Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 3, and Tomb Raider 4. Then I think I'll have to do a close-up of this. This is just a really tiny um, Tomb Raider 2013 little kind of postcard print. And then I'll definitely have to do close-ups of these. These are little mini PS1 game replicas again that I bought and they are cake toppers and I thought they were really, really cute and cool. And last but certainly not least in my miscellaneous category but also in my Tomb Raider collection are my red Tomb Raider Lara Croft sunglasses that I use for cosplay and just sometimes when I want to wear them. They're so cool, I love them. Will I put them on? I actually can't see a thing when I have these on. <laughs> Okay, and that is the end of my Tomb Raider collection video. Thank you so much for watching this. This is probably going to be a really, really long video. So if you watch the whole thing, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. That would mean so much to me. I post a lot of Tomb Raider related content, including gameplays, but I'm also trying to make a lot of different types of content. So on that note as well, if you have any suggestions, about different videos you would like to see me make, please leave those in the comments below. I'm always looking for suggestions on that and I will see you in my next video.